Hey folks, we're back again, and today we're here to talk to you about electrostatic precipitator power supplies. And I didn't even know there was actually different types of power supplies until Mr. Precipitator here explained <laughs> that to me. Yeah, I guess I've always assumed that everyone knows the difference between an SMPS or a three-phase TR or single-phase TR and um, finding out that uh, it all jumbles together. Most people just know they need high voltage in their precipitator. So we're going to spend a few minutes and uh, we have some TR sets and SMPS is back in the shop and we're going to take you back there and show them to you. So uh, there, we have Kraft PowerCon actually has three uh, distinct different power supplies for a precipitator. I'm going to focus mainly on two. The difference between a traditional TR set and an SMPS. So this is our Kraft Classic, which is uh, these TR sets. We've been making them since 1955. They're probably the most common on precipitators. We also make a three-phase TR. Uh, they look exactly the same. The output voltage uh, is different. With a TR set, this is sitting on the roof of your precipitator. It's out in the elements. Um, and you have a separate control cabinet. And this control cabinet is typically in an MCC room, a, a control room somewhere where there's an HVAC system and the environment's controlled. Um, and this will tell you the readings and with modern controls, you can do a lot of troubleshooting and graphs from this separate control cabinet. Um, the separate control cabinet will hold your control components, where the TR set just steps up the voltage and rectifies it to the precipitator. This has your control components, which is pretty basic. You got a breaker, contactor, thyristors. This is a three-phase control cabinet, uh, your main controller and a display. Um, you know, they're fairly easy to work on. They're laid out, um, you know, plug and play parts if you ever have a problem. So this is our uh, SmartCraft, which is the SMPS. Uh, when precipitators needed to improve performance, uh, really it was mats that drove all this, uh, the mercury and air toxic standard. Um, you know, a lot of people went to an SMPS, uh, high frequency power supply. What's nice about these is it's one unit, where with the TR set, you had a TR set and a separate control cabinet. This is one unit that sits on the roof. Uh, now this is out in the elements. And so uh, on top of the precipitator roof, so there are some things that we need to do. Uh, our units, we have old cooling um, of the transformer and some components inside the control cabinet. You know, it's rated for 50 degrees C ambient temperature, which is fairly hot. Uh, if we come over here to the control cabinet door, we need a key to open it. I don't know where the key is. The SmartCraft or all SMP units, the control is with the transformer uh, on the roof. Uh, you know, with, with Kraft PowerCon, our SmartCraft, we have a similar control cabinet with the components easily uh, laid out so it's easy to work on. Uh, typically, when you're working on this, though, it's on the roof. Uh, many times, um, you know, you'll have a weather enclosure on your precipitator as such. Well, there you have it. Smart Craft and Craft Classic three-phase TR set. Thanks, Mr. Precipitator. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the main thing to remember is on your SMPS or your Smart Craft units, um, the big attraction is they're much less uh, cost to install. Uh, it's one unit, you put it on the roof, and you're done. Um, you know, the TR set costs a little more to install because uh, you have the separate control cabinet, and it's perceived to be more reliable, but uh, with with current advances in the technology on SMPS, uh, SMPS is just reliable as your TR sets. But if you have any more questions, uh, give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. Click the link down on the bottom. We have a lot more on our website. And uh, stay safe. Be well.